Hi there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com. I appreciate you joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I will be walking you through how to perform a master reset to restore the factory settings on a Samsung Galaxy S Blades 4G for T-Mobile service. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is unlock the screen by tapping the power button on the right side of the phone. Then we're going to slide our finger across to unlock the screen. I'm going to back out of everything here. Here you can see that this was my personal phone which had quite a bit of customized apps on it. I have backed everything up to my SD card which I have removed. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the reset. First we need to access the app tray. Then in alphabetical order we're going to go ahead and choose this icon which says settings. We're going to touch that. Here we'll have a list of multiple types of settings. We're going to scroll down using our finger until we find this icon that looks like a fence and it says privacy. We're going to go ahead and touch that. Now by default these check boxes which say back up my data, those have already been checked. In this case I want to wipe everything off the phone so I'm going to uncheck that box which tells me that this will no longer back up my data. I'm going to press OK. Now I'm simply going to touch here where it says factory data reset. We have the option to format the USB card which would reset your SD card as well. In this case that has been removed so we're going to go past that and just press reset phone here at the bottom. Then I think you can probably hopefully see here the next button says erase everything. We're going to touch that, and then the phone is now performing a reset, which requires it to fully restart. This process can take a few minutes, sometimes two or three. We should soon see the Android logo coming out of a box, indicating that the phone is resetting. And let's talk about why we would want to do this kind of reset. Maybe we're getting ready to sell gift or donate the phone here we go there's the Android out of the box it states that it is erasing the internal memory and wiping the phone that's good that's what we're looking to do here and while we're waiting if you haven't already I'd love for you to visit my website sellseattle.com mm -hmm. all one word C-E-L-L -L, Seattle and there there are some forms you can fill out if you have a used smartphone. I'd love to purchase it from you. Help you get some value out of your old phone, maybe to put towards your next upgrade. And also I'd like to mention that cell phones have a lot of toxic chemicals in them. Things ranging from lead, arsenic, mercury, lots of nasty stuff in there which when thrown in the garbage, those things can leak into the ground, through the landfill, and into our drinking water. So if you have a damaged or a perfectly working phone, please consider gifting, donating, or selling it to a service like ours. We're about three and a half minutes in now. The phone is still performing the reset. We'll know that it's been successfully completed when we see it come back to the Android startup screen, which will prompt us to log in using Gmail so that we can access all the functionality of the phone. I really enjoyed this phone. Here we go. This is our Samsung SGH T769. This is what it will look like when it has been fully restored to factory specifications. So I want to thank you very much for watching the video. This again has been steps on resetting, master resetting, a Samsung Galaxy S Blaze 4G for T-Mobile. My name is Trevor Duncan and I hope you have a great day.